Hello everyone, today I thought I would tell you exactly how I got hired as a front-end developer being completely self-taught without having any relevant education. So yeah, in this video I thought I would break down how I learned programming, how I actually landed a job without having any relevant education, and I'll give some tips along the way for people trying to do something similar. Okay, so before I started programming, I was busy killing cows in Lumbridge. <laughs> okay, but what does this have to do with me learning how to program? I do think that playing a lot of computer games while growing up actually taught me a lot about problem solving. And in general, I spent a lot of time on the computer and being online. And one day I stumbled upon a website called Codecademy, kind of randomly actually. Codecademy offers both free and paid programming courses, and I actually enrolled in their Python 2 course, which both now and at the time were completely free. So I started on the Python 2 course, and it actually took me four years to complete this course, as I would only code in short bursts of time before losing interest and forgetting everything I had learned. This was all the way back in 2013, but then fast forward to 2017, and I had actually managed to complete the course, which was sick. So after completing the course, I felt like I had a good grasp on basic programming concepts like variables, loops, functions, uh, classes even, data types, conditionals, yeah, you name it. I, I pretty much knew the basics of programming. With this programming knowledge, I was able to start creating smaller projects just based out of my curiosity. And I created stuff like some graph plotters, this awesome ping pong robot. Holy shit! And uh, also this uh, turtle graphics in the terminal. So yeah, nothing fancy at all, but it was still very cool to have an idea and see that idea come to life through coding. Around this time, I also got introduced to the world of Linux and I would start actually enjoying setting up new distros and configuring them to my liking. It's now around 2018 in this story and I still hadn't really thought of pursuing programming as a career. But then I kind of had the great realization that huh, I spend so much time on the computer doing these kinds of things anyways. Maybe this is the way to go. So it all felt kind of natural. And from that moment on in 2018, I kind of took programming a bit more seriously and decided to dive deeper into things to learn. I learned about the version control and started pushing my code to GitHub. I learned about networking and how to use APIs in my projects, how to use external libraries and so on. Some of the projects I created at the time include a program that turns image into ASCII art and even a typing game created in the now second language I knew, which was JavaScript. Perhaps it was the typing game written in JavaScript, but at this time I got a sudden spark of interest for web development. And I thought that I should maybe try to create a website. Because I was most comfortable with Python, I decided to use Django to create my first website, which was perhaps not the best place to start, but I still managed to learn some stuff about SQL and I managed to create a website that I still think looks kind of sick. At this time, school was starting to close up in Norway and I thought to myself, okay, I have zero plans for the coming year. Why not try to take this program thing a bit further? So at the time I checked out uh, the local job listing place called fin.no and I kind of looked around to see what kind of developers were getting hired and I landed on, okay, front-end developers knowing React. So I ended up deciding that, you know what, I'm going to really learn how to use React and try to get a job as quickly as possible. The first place I started to learn React was actually back on the Codecademy website, as they also had a free React course. So I took that, learned the very basics of React, and then I started creating a bunch of different websites to learn more concepts. I started off with something very simple, like a photography website, where I would focus on just learning how to create UI components. Then I gradually made the projects more and more advanced, introducing new technologies along the way. For daily top posts, I learned how to fetch data from APIs and show the results on screen. And in front-end real estate, I learned how to create even more UIs and then style them using the CSS framework SAS. 
I then took it a step further and learned Redux, which was what was being used for state management back then in React. And I really started to feel like I had gotten a good grasp on React and the whole React ecosystem. I also started using Firebase as a backend as a service where I could use stuff like the real-time database, user authentication, and also free web hosting. Even though my plan was to apply for strictly front-end jobs, I decided that it would probably be a good idea to learn a bit about backend technologies. So I went into a period of learning full-stack development, learning the MERN stack, which included MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. Now, if I were to learn those technologies today, it would already feel kind of outdated. So I would highly recommend really sit down, do some research and find out what is being used at this current time. So if I were to do this again today, I would probably start by learning React. Then I would probably learn Next.js and do full stack from there. At this time, I was actually starting to feel kind of ready to start applying for jobs. So I took all of my best projects and created a portfolio website where I would show them all off. And as a sort of sneak at the side note, I decided not to mention my age or any education on my portfolio, as I thought this is just a reason for potential employers to shut me down. I went on my local job listing website searched for React and started applying for everything. Even if a job said they were looking for a senior backend developer to be tech lead in a new project, then boom, I would apply, no problem. I thought that I'm probably underqualified for most of the, these gigs anyway, so what do I have to lose? Nothing really. In total, I ended up applying for 59 jobs. And out of these 59 jobs, I ended up getting 29 responses. And out of those 29 responses, I got nine interviews which i do think is pretty nice now a lot of the companies that i actually interviewed for ended up shutting me off pretty quickly after they found out that i was self-taught but some were actually super cool with it and i ended up getting technical interviews for three of the different companies the first technical interview was for a startup in trondheim and i basically had to do a full website design and then try to implement it live while two people were watching me do this. So kind of nerve wracking, but I do think that I managed to create something kind of decent for uh, the short amount of time that I had on the interview. And even though I did not get this job, I truly felt that for each interview I had, I gained so much experience on learning what to do better for my next interview. Then for a different company, I had a technical home interview where I was basically assigned a programming task, which if I'm not mistaken, was to display a bunch of city bikes on a map by fetching some data from a public API. I ended up solving this pretty nicely, but I did one major mistake, which was that I actually included the Google API key that I used for Google Maps in this project completely public inside of the code repository. Doing something like this would kind of be like having a post-it note with your laptop password just stuck on your laptop. So definitely a no-no. And what's even dumber was that I knew that this was bad practice, but I didn't know about environment variables yet. So I just put the key in a file named not an API key. But I still liked my submission and I ended up going on to round two of the technical interviews, which extended the assignment a bit, as well as it included me having to write tests for what I did. Then lastly, I was invited to do a in-person interview where I would sit down and explain the code I had written and also defend any design choices here. For this, I was really happy that I had really tried learning React as good as possible because I felt pretty confident in explaining how stuff worked and why I chose to do things the way I did. Now, for the questions I got that I did not know the answer to, I was completely honest saying, okay, I don't know how to solve this, but this is what I would do to try figuring it out. And in general, I would say that the whole interview process was actually kind of fun to go through because being a recent graduate of high school, it was kind of just cool to experience <laughs> interviews at real companies. A week later, I was at home and I got a phone call and it was actually the job with the three technical interviews that offered me a position. 
And I have to say, I was completely blown away that this had actually worked, especially because out of the 59 jobs I had applied for, this was at the very top of the places that I wanted to work. Okay, and that's basically it. I was hired, started working, and I've had an absolute blast working as a developer ever since. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I will be happy to respond to anything. And also, make sure to subscribe, as in the next video, I will tell you about the time I bought 500 computer mice. Holy shit. Okay, later.